Welcome to our second in a series of three videos discussing topics students need to understand to master college. Our College 101 topic for this video is about those who provide instruction. Faculty members are the key to your education. The most valuable instructors know their subject matter and how to share the essential components with students in a manner that inspires, challenges, and makes the student think. Faculty members who are talented instructors will be good no matter their title or the type of classroom in which they find themselves. As with every teacher you have had to this point in your life, the quality of instruction is tied to the personality of the teacher and their approach to instruction. It doesn't change when you get to college. What changes is the range of experiences and ability held by those in front of the class. As students move into their college career, it is essential to understand the type of instruction arrangements prevalent in college, no matter what college you are attending. Measuring whether the school is willing to sacrifice instruction to save money is also important. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek and this is College 101, what the faculty has to offer. Colleges value a few things in their instructors. One is the ability to instruct. A second is their role in research. A third is the frequency with which credible organizations publish their academic papers and books. In some cases, especially with faculty members who research, a fourth category is the faculty member's ability to raise funding for their work. As the instructor moves through the years at a particular college, they are evaluated based on their ability to progress in those categories. If an instructor is rated well in these categories, they are invited into a tenure track. Tenure is guaranteed employment offered by the college to a faculty member who has continued contributing to their academic field. However, with the financial difficulties in which colleges find themselves, some tenure positions are being eliminated. While it used to be that being in a tenured position offered professors academic freedom, the cost of supporting tenured faculty is making those positions a target for university cost cutting. Those who instruct at the college, junior college, or career college levels have different experiences in their field beyond the initial degree. In colleges, instructors can begin as teachers in the classroom as they earn their master's degree. PhD candidates fill several teaching positions, especially in recitations and orientation courses. These teaching assistants, or TAs, can specifically impact student experiences in any course. Then we reach the levels of professorship. Professors generally have earned their PhD. They begin at the assistant professor level, move to the associate level, and finally, these instructors earn their full professorship. They must show acumen as instructors, researchers, and authors to move from level to level. The level of pay goes up with each change in title. Titles like lecturer, master lecturer, or visiting lecturer also exist. These note that the individual has excellent experience and ability in a particular field or on a particular topic. Visiting lecturers have specific experience that cannot be matched by those who have grown through the faculty ranks. They are present at the college to impart those experiences and lessons learned. Generally, those with the lecturer title do not hold PhDs in their teaching topic. A growing category in the college faculty world is under the title of adjunct. These professors can be recognized as assistant, associate, or full professors. The difference is that these instructors are contract workers for the college rather than being full members of that college's community. Adjunct professors may teach at two or more colleges each term. They come on campus to teach the course and hold office hours, but they are not responsible for on-campus research or writing professional papers on behalf of that college. Adjunct professors generally cost the college less in salary and benefits, but they also do not bring grant money or other notoriety to the college. There may be a few alterations in the requirements for those instructors leading clinical courses, but the basics remain the same. For these courses, technical knowledge and experience become important to instruction. It is essential to note that how well a faculty member imparts knowledge is not tied to their degrees, research, or writing. Every faculty member connects with some students, but very few connect with every student in every class environment. Word will spread about teaching abilities and online resources like Rate My Professor may provide some sense of their abilities. Rate My Professor is an evaluation of an instructor's style, the grading process, and classroom management. Rate My Professor is available on instructors 
all over the U.S. There may also be similar evaluation programs available on each campus. It is important to note that those students who love the professor and those who dislike the professor are more likely to take the time to complete those evaluations. So take comments and ratings with a grain of salt. Remember, none of these evaluations measure what each student brings to the class in terms of dedication, focus, ability to ask for assistance, and willingness to learn. One other caution, with the increase in online coursework, it is essential to note that some faculty members are very good at teaching in person and are less effective online, and vice versa. Then there are some just plain good no matter the size, location, or technology assistance they get in each class. Faculty members are not in their jobs exclusively for the money. Full professors average $65,000 per year. Most are teaching because they love their topics and sharing information with others. They know they can alter the future of their field by sharing what they know and encouraging others to expand that base of knowledge. Faculty members can make or break a college experience. Those who love to share their knowledge are talented in making that information useful. They are magical. You may not always be able to select your course schedule based on the instructor, as there are many other considerations in building a schedule. But when you can match an excellent class structure with a strong instructor, you have struck academic gold. Join us for the third in the College 101 series when we discuss the keys to piecing together your class schedule every term. If you found any of this information helpful, hit the like button or consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.